Deborah Bernard of Joyfully Living Wellness. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll notice that I am wearing my Eat Simply Live Joyfully t-shirt. This is my own design. I believe in eating simply to live joyfully for the health of our bodies, minds, hearts, souls, spirits, as well as our families, our communities, and the entire planet. Eating simply helps to support a lifestyle not just for us, but for the whole planet. It saves on the the, wear, the taxation on the planet. The the um, I mean, we take so much from our Earth without giving back to keep the Earth healthy and able to sustain us. And one of the things that we can do to support the whole process is to learn to eat simply. So that is one of the missions I have in doing these uh, these cooking demos for you. So uh, it's healthy for your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit, your family, your community, and the planet. So today, we're going to do something fun today. I have a main dish. We're going to make veggie pasta out of zucchini. And then we're going to top that with a fresh pesto sauce and some other little veggies and things and uh, and and some protein sources along with that as well. Vegetarian plant, plant easy for me to say, vegetarian plant-based protein sources. Okay, so first we're going to start with the zucchini. I'm just going to trim the ends off of the zucchini and I know I said I like to use tools that are uh, very easy and readily available and I do. I have one that I just got it's, I, it's called a Vegetti. You may have seen it advertised on television. It will turn this little zucchini into spaghetti noodles very easy, very simply. And um, it only cost, it was uh, at Bed Bath & Beyond, like $14. And I think you can get them at Walmart even for even less. Let me grab it. Okay. Now, this has two different sizes of blades. It has a small blade and, and it has a larger uh, larger teeth, you know, for a thicker noodle. So I'm going to use the large one. And here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and put this directly into our pasta serving bowl. Turn that down. And we just put this zucchini in with the ends trimmed off. And we start turning. And I... I see no need to peel it. The peel will eventually come off. So then you'll have a selection. Oh, look at that. It gets in the groove and it's going. Cool beans. I didn't even practice this, so you know. This is my first uh, slice with the veggetti. And look how nice that comes out. All right, so I'm doing one zucchini here. The demo. Great little tool. I did see it advertised on the internet. I watched the, the demos and reviews of the different uh, types of, of uh, they're called like veggie spiralizers they have and noodle makers, <laughs> veggie pasta tools. Wow, this actually makes quite a bit of pasta out of one. There's a nice size zucchini, a medium size, I would say. Oh. Excuse me while I grab one other piece. It does have, so you save your fingers at the end, it's got this, this little cap you can push into the zucchini and keep turning it farther along. You get more of it. There we go. Keep it going. Okay. And <laughs> you got a nice little spiral left over, which you can, of course, chop up and add to your pasta. I think I'll set that aside and we'll do that. Okay, so here is one zucchini. You can do more, of course. Look how nice and colorful that is. You can kind of like mix it around and get a nice distribution of the green and white like that. You know, you could take this, toss it with a little, like a really good, Organic extra virgin olive oil with some just fresh chopped garlic and and herbs and a little um, sea salt like a Himalayan sea salt or you know a really good sea salt and that would be a, a great meal maybe top it with some 
cherry tomatoes or chopped peppers or something like that. Perfect. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to set this aside. And now we're going to pull out our neutral bullet again. I say again, we did that the other day. Okay, so our neutral bullet, fabulous tool that we have. This is the, the blender cup for the neutral bullet. We're going to make a pesto now. Now I'm going to credit my friend. Woody Woodruff of Red Wiggler Community Farm, who taught me how to make this pesto, and I've made it many times and absolutely love it. So this is raw pine nuts. I got these from Trader Joe's. Now, pine nuts can be expensive, and so if you don't want the expense, you can try a different kind of nut. I've used walnut before. Um, Trader Joe's has inexpensive pine nuts, um, and there are some places that do, but some in some areas, they're very, very expensive, and I think it just kind of depends on time and availability. But I'm going to put... Um, you notice that I don't really measure things, so I'm putting about, that's probably about a quarter cup, maybe a little more, into the, um, whoops, I do need this after all, cut up the garlic. So I put that into the, the blender cup of the, what's that called, Nutribullet, and it, I like a lot of garlic, just like I like a lot of ginger, I like the bite. I like the spice. Okay, so just going to chop the little ends off of the garlic. And again, this Nutribullet does a great job of blending things, so you don't need to chop things finely or anything like that. But we'll just take the skins off of these. And add them to the Nutribullet blender. Now, you're noticing again, I hope, uh, as with the other demos that I've done, quick, easy, simple, and very few ingredients. Okay, so I'm using three uh, pretty good sized cloves of garlic. Actually, I think I'll put in a fourth one because, like I said, I really like garlic a lot. That's pretty small, but you know, with this, everything blended up so fine, you can always go back and add a little more if you want to, or put a little chopped on top. As I said, toss it with some olive oil and and uh, a little bit of Himalayan sea salt, and mix it in with nice chunks. <laughs> okay, so now we have pine nuts and garlic. Now this is some olive oil. You want to use a really good flavorful olive oil because you're really going to taste the flavors. This is raw. You're not cooking it, not heating it. This is an olive oil I got when I was over in Jerusalem not long ago, and it is really good. So what you want to do is you want to put enough olive oil in there to cover. You can see here it's covered the, the pine nuts and the garlic. Okay, now if you were a purist and you were doing a um, pesto sauce, you would put in some Parmesan cheese, a good grated Parmesan cheese, and you would put in fresh basil, and then that would be it. You'd blend it up and you'd be done. Okay, now what we're going to do, because I like to improvise, right? I appreciate the purist, but I also like to improvise. So here, I'm going to, I, I, and I don't like dairy, so I'm leaving out the Parmesan cheese, and I'm going to go ahead and take the Nutribullet, and I'm going to blend this up, get it a nice mushy consistency. So we're pardon the noise again. Okay, so that was about 15 seconds. All right, now because I love greens and I like the, the nice bitterness of greens, my friend Dr. David, uh, Dr. David Weinthal, I'm going to be in his telesummit uh, on September the 17th 
He's going to be interviewing me about emotional eating, and he is going to contribute to my upcoming Freedom from Emotional Eating class. And I was on a, 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 one of his coaching calls the other day. I was a, a guest coach on his program, which I greatly appreciated, and it was a lot of fun. He and I really have a good time together. Dr. David Weinthal, High Vibration Living Telesummit that's coming up soon. Actually, it just started yesterday, but my segment's coming up next week. Okay, so um, he talked about the leafy greens being the, the vibration. You know, everything has energy. Everything has vibrations. So he talked about the leafy greens being the vibration of the heart center. And when you're feeling that your heart could uh, use some uh, assistance in coming back into harmony and cleansing and uh, just, you know, getting a pure vibration, eat leafy greens. And it helps with that. So... I will think of that now all the time when I eat leafy greens. I love leafy greens, and maybe that's why my heart likes to harmonize. Okay, so this is fresh basil, and I'm going to fill this cup with fresh basil. And that's really your, the main herb for the um, pesto sauce. However, however, because I like to improvise, I'm also going to add in some nice, fresh, crispy baby spinach and some nice fresh crispy and pungent baby arugula i like the bitterness of the of the arugula and dr david also says that the bitterness helps to cleanse away the bitterness from the heart Think of that now as well when I'm eating arugula because that's wonderful for that. Okay, so again, we just put this on the neutral bullet, let it mix up, and pardon the noise again. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in this because it needs more liquid. And I just thought about <laughs> our fun looking little zucchini guy. We can chop him up and put him in there too. And I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Okay. I think I need a little bit of liquid for this much greens. And here we go again. Okay, now it looks like some of the yummy garlic paste stuff. Uh oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like some of the yummy garlic paste stuck to the side down at the bottom. Oh, look at that. All right, I have to do it. Oh, yum. You know what it could use is just a little bit of salt, but it's actually, I kind of like it. So I'm not going to add salt at this time, but you might want to. Like I said, a little bit of Himalayan sea salt or, you know, the, the real salt, the good salt with, you know, not the iodized that's been totally refined and doesn't have any uh, nutritional value in it. Use the good stuff. It'll save you doctor bills in the future. So I'm going to let that mix with that garlic paste down at the bottom. You could even take a spatula. All right. This is a very nice 
consistency of a sauce. And give it one more go round. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so I'm going to bring this back over our veggie pasta and I'm going to once again okay so I'm going to take some of this pesto I'm going to pour it over the top of our pasta noodles there. I'll put a little bit more. This stuff is very flavorful, very good. Okay, so we've got our noodles, we've got our sauce, and for the top, I've got some fresh organic cherry tomatoes. You can cut them in half if you want to, or just put them whole. I like them whole. I like to leave the foods whole because as soon as you start cutting foods, then they start losing nutrients because of the oxidation. So, you know, if, you, if you're okay with eating them whole and these are nice and bite-sized, then by all means do it. And, you know, just the same with salads. You know, there's no reason to chop things so finely on a salad either. You can just eat it. Um, but leave it whole. It's, it's pretty, right? And it's uh, like little uh, uh, packets that pop in your mouth when you eat them. So it's fun. Okay. And if you're one of those people that's asking, well, okay, that's great for a main dish, but where's the protein? All right. Well, everything's got protein in it. You know, if you ever noticed like a cow is big and strong, has a lot of muscle, right? We say we need protein in order to be big and strong. Well, the cows have lots of muscle, right? I mean, that's what most Americans eat is meat. Um, but they don't eat meat in order to build muscle. They eat grass. Okay, and that said, so if you want some protein, I've got some uh, organic sprouted beans here. There's an assortment of, you know, mung beans and garbanzo beans and lentils and things like that. So you can just take some of that, add to the top, sprinkle them on top. It's a nice crunch, a nice protein. And if that's not enough for you, you can also add some edamame, which is just shelled soybeans. They come frozen, and this is a, I haven't found the uh, organic ones that are not in the shell. Some of them, you know, they come in the pea pods, and you can shell them. I do have those in organic, uh, the ones that are already shelled. They do, they are non-GMO, but they uh, are not organic, but they're still pretty good. So anyway, you can just... Take a few of these, sprinkle these on top as well, and have even more protein. If, uh oh, a little bit too much there maybe. Well, we'll just pull that out. All right, so here you have it. Here you have this gorgeous dish. This is our veggie pasta, zucchini pasta with a basil, spinach, arugula pesto with cherry tomatoes and some sprouted, uh, sorted sprouted beans and edamame, a scrump delicious dish. Okay, so I guess I have to taste this one too, right? Well, of course. Okay. Take a nice little taste. Mmm. 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 Mm. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, this is Deborah Bernard saying eat simply, live joyfully, have a beautiful day, live and love joyfully. See you next time. Thanks.